Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to Pick and Place Heads of Info with the Kaiserreich Mod. We are back in the Russian Empire. Now, this is not the world that you left off. I went back to an autosave so I could, I could get it into kind of a fashion that I would actually be okay with. And by that, I mean down here. I have given these provinces away to Greece by going back and changing it up so that uh, Greece was in the peace deal so that I was able to give Constantinopolis over to the Greeks which I rather like. I, I like this little Aegean theme we got going on here. It reminds me of Fuharaik. I also gave them Cyprus, or Kypros, as it's now called. And I'm thinking of these areas. I'm thinking of allowing the formation of a new Turkish Republic, because I can always eventually just bring them in myself later down the line. I do enjoy my puppets. Let's try them out. So, there is Turkey. And we are able to keep on to Lazistan and Kars Igdir. Strangely enough, this area is not given over to like um, a greater Armenia, at least not in their claims. So yes, we have a Turkey. I believe it is a generic nation. Yeah, generic focus tree, but that does mean they're going to get a lot of factories of one kind or the other. Uh, hey, by the way, which way did you go? Ah, you went to all of them. I see. Wait, how? I, th I thought you were doing a gank. No, you can do it both ways. Oh, okay. That changes things. So, yes, we have a new Turkey. I believe that, yeah, they don't have any of the claims on this land down here. Although they do have claim there. Turkey has a claim on Diabakar and a claim on Van. That's a bit far. A claim on Al Masil. Claim by Kurdistan. I believe you're another. Yep. Yeah, it is another generic nation. Hopefully, I'll be able to get a pop-up that will let me release Iran because, uh, or possibly a Persia, because I was trying to make that work. Let's go to in here. What can we do? It's December 1939 now, which means let's start up some computing machines and let it run. There we go, annexation of Persia. When I went back in time, I made it so that the Turkish war would end first, meaning that... Uh, this area here, all the way stretching down Mesopotamia, might go to a Persian puppet. After a long fight with the Persians, we have launched a full offensive and forced the Persian army to surrender. Tehran is now in our hands. Do the military occupation or liberate them. And the controller of Sistan, Istafan, Tehran, and ten other provinces. Let's look at it. Liberate Persia. So yes, Iran is back and they have all of their lands. Hmm... Yeah, I suppose I could have taken maybe this stuff that would have gone to a... No, you have Kurdistan. And we do have claims, but I want to s I want to see how this works. So you're back. You still have your Austrian engineers, really? You still have all this. Really? The Swedish? Hmm. And you cooperate with the Germans. Oh, buddy. Province of Kartli. Effect. Hmm. Yes. Rather fun. However, you are my puppet now, so uh, accept that and move on with your day. <laughs> Meanwhile, South Force, you... Who are oh, I see. I see. You have been partly split off because we have this. Go down to there. And then... Is that both sides? Okay, split off another half. Put them on that border in case we ever get to share it with the Entente. Uh, as for us... We have this little border up here, which I believe is you. Yes, you. So get rid of your lines right now, because they've been cut off. Put them mostly on Kurdistan. It'll probably be our next attack. I don't think we're able to really do anything specific. Take 80 days to possibly take over to Kurdistan. And I think I'll do that. I think the Emirate of Afghanistan should be brought under us. And made into eh, probably a puppet. Uh, yeah, all these extremities I want as puppets. I don't really want, like, core territory over there. Kurdistan could be brought in as... Well, at least this province and that province can just be given to Turkey. Uh, and then Kurdistan could be left up in Kirkuk and al -Masawil. I think that'll be fine. Meanwhile, there's a little bit of... No, just Saudi Arabia. No Iraqi cores anywhere. What is this? That's... Alishamar, we could just try to drive down into Asia and just avoid the North altogether. Insufficient resource at the moment is still rubber, but not really worth my time. Let's see. You there, Mr. Cutoff, yes. Funding frenzy is done. 
So, we can still wipe my own vassal off the map. I don't think that's a good idea. It's time to retake the lands in the west. I don't think that's a good idea. Reorganize high command. Ooh, standardized military. That's just military equipment. Uh, mechanized warfare. What time programs though sound good. I suppose I could finally finish off in the name of the Tsar. Yeah, you guys will be taking Hmm, increased smuggling in Siberia. Sad. Sad times, sad times. Hmm. I could use some more troops over on the Transamore line in the east. Increase the stability is always nice. Ooh, Siam is taking over the Union of Burma. Let's see, are you a part of anything new? The well, Union of Burma was at war with Siam. Is Baharata? Yeah, the Baharatis are too, and the Agrarians have a truce. Hmm. <coughs> yep, there goes Indochinese Union, finally capitulated. Let's do this. What can I do? I did 40. Okay. But what about radio detection? Ooh, atomic research. It's never a bad thing to start trying. Meanwhile, I think I was saying go to war with Afghanistan, but I'm going to need enough political power points to do it. We have low popularity. Mm, da, da, da. It's fine. Fine, we're fine. Iran is now ours. Turkey and Greece are now ours. Turkey has been reduced to a shell of for myself. New England has capitulated. Oh my, I did not know that. So I see that you've joined the international. No, you haven't even. You're just, you just want to take over Canada. So yeah, the Entente, not a good idea. Not good stock in the Entente at the moment. Princely states were taken, have uh, conquered everything again. The yeah, Entente will go to France, and France even hasn't even had their thing. Ooh. The Buenos Aires access versus the Latin American Union. I wonder what's going to go with them over there. Meanwhile, here, the Danio area boon is probably not going to succeed if they have a war against the Third International. So we're just gearing up for a war against the Third International and trying to get as many allies as we possibly can hey you mr mr tuva mr tano yeah you're getting close to being an integrated puppet but that will take some points Ooh, new divisions yes Ooh, good divisions too send them over there some proper divisions with their skulls gonna need some more men union of burma's capitulated baharata commune oh uh, what am i calling it Baratia, yeah, that's it. Baratia commune. We're falling soon enough. You can I declare war on you yet and do. What was that about? Who knows? There was just a little bit of a slowdown there. You. What does it take? 80 points again? Yeah, okay. Wait, can I, can I do it now? Double. Uh, okay. I mean, it didn't actually take my political power points, but okay. So, yes. Uh-huh. That's, uh, I think, this army? No. Oh, yeah, it's south. Army group south. Way down south. So, mission just take Kabul. The Soviets failed, but we are not the Soviets. And we also don't know that the Soviets failed. I guess this is this... Oh, yeah, this is like the... Sm ah, there it is. It wasn't showing because of the river. But yeah, this area we can't come in from. <coughs> so we're coming from down here. And per, mayhaps, may perchance, the Entente will be easier pickings than going after anything else. So, especially with the Entente forces being absolutely just crushed, prayers for the Tsar. In New England, in the Commonwealth of Canada, with the king on his way out, it might be a good idea for us to try and just, you know, take out India and the riches of India, while well, they still have very few troops. 19 to 35, yeah, we could take that out with a couple armies and just take over mostly Pakistan and northern India, bring it under Russian control, or at least puppeted control. The Tanu Urin Kai. For some reason, that reminds me of the Urakai. And then, oh, we got. We got a syndicalist Spain there, and Portugal is not long for this world. Sorry, Portugal. Not gonna happen. Hmm. As for us, we're still building up. Recruitment and deploy is in full swing. Kind of difficult to get enough motorized and tanks by the look of it. Tank division is definitely something that's hard to figure out. 
But we're working on it. <coughs> now, what's this? Medium tanks exist now. Ooh, medium tanks. Well, there's, here's a light tank not being worked on. Put the medium tank up there. Put the light tank up here. Put the interwar fighters. Yeah, sure. Interwar bombers and interwar fighters. Eh, they've, they've served their purpose. We can just kind of stockpile those for now. Uh, anything else? I am building a new battleship for fleet in the east. Because that's right, we were thinking of going to war with Japan. But we'll, you know, keep keep our options open. I'm going to say, you're the new armor. You're older. And at roughly the same equipment load. Yeah, basic is still making 50. You're making 40. That makes sense. Uh, new units. How many? Just the one. Just the one. All right. New army in the far eastern sector. You will start right there. And what is you doing out here, about at the commune? I don't remember giving you military access. Maybe Tanner did? Has military access? Okay, good to know. But yeah, they're done. Agrarian Revolts has succeeded in their mission. King of Siam is one. It looks like uh, Japan took a little bit of Burma <coughs> and made it the Kingdom of Burma. Okay then. What can we do? You're on Conscript the Conquered Peoples, you're on Agricultural Funding, you're on Boring Shit, you're on Submarine Warfare. Yeah, yeah. Up here, got some new troops. Send to the Far East, please. Gonna need to give him a general. How about that boy? And then you... Yeah, we are justifying. Strangely enough, we are justifying against Emirate of Afghanistan. Never took my points, though. Let's see you, Diebacher. I'll take 140 days. We can do it. Insufficient resources, still that rubber. When the rubber hits the road. Okay, we're most. I see. The Grand Revolt took one state, and the what? what? The Negalop Associated Communes was annexed. Oh, that was you. That was you. Yeah, I'm gonna need to change this production because we're mostly focusing on that. Yeah, no, we need. We need the military. Please and thank you. Research slots are available. Uh, it's 1940. We can go for some excavation. Uh, might as well, really. <clears throat> life, improve life conditions for stability. I kind of like that. At the moment, current ruling party is a political autocrat. That's right. I should try to move some of these away. You're authoritarian democrat you are a conserv social conservative you are social conservative you are hey that's good yeah nothing that i like and at 1942 is when we can actually start to uh, see what the world would be like at a little bit faster speed okay it's a bit too slow irony albania's declared war on the bulgaria oh albania so you just want to die then is that your plan you just want to, uh, you just want to attack. Well, I mean, you like them, but I don't know how much that's going to help. <laughs> I mean, okay. Uh, let's see. You're completely screwed, but what can I give you? I can send you one unit. It's not worth it to me. It is just not worth it to me. Naval bombers, static bombers, strategic bombers, bammers, alabamers, perhaps. Yeah, some of these, please. Some fighters. I need a fighter. Which friend are you? Start working on that. Some fighters. Those will help, at the very least, with modernizing my air force and getting it up and running. Until I get, like, a thousand fighters, it's just not going to work it out for me. Uh, Fall of Lisbon, I she. You have gotten... Portugal's capitulated. Two Sicilies is just not ready. And CNCF... CNTFAI have taken it all. What's this? Is that, there was a landing with the Commune of France. Okay. Oh, ooh, yeah. Commune of France also took over Portugal. And looks like Liberia got conquered by the Kingdom of France. Good to know. As for you, you're only at war with the Commune of France, so you'll probably swallow that up. But do you have any troops to hold this line? You're 21 to 36. Not your best day. 
Frenchy Federation has a good one. The Baratia Commune. Well, they don't eggs. Oh, no, I guess they do. They're just black now. Okay. Well, you don't have a faction, so... E.M. Remark, the Third Reich. What a childish fantasy. Meanwhile, come on. I want to declare war on Afghanistan. Because everyone who's ever invaded Afghanistan has had an easy time with it and has uh, enjoyed their experience immensely. <coughs> we also have a large submarine fleet, but we, I just need a place to actually send it. <coughs> Turkey, what do you do? Industrial methods? Thank you. Dang, dunga. Function. Meanwhile, over here, it'd be nice if I could just, like, take little pieces of Iran at a time. I might do what I do, usually just build a bunch of shit for them. Speaking of which, Tanatuba. Uh huh. What about military factories? Oh, you're already building one, that's why. Okay. Because, yeah, I think I've already maxed. <laughs> Oh, so close. I've almost maxed out your infrastructure. Almost maxed out your air base. <laughs> oh, yeah, completely maxed out your anti-air. Ah, oh, good. Justification's done. All done justifying. So, new of the new troops. To the new front, please, with your weird new divisions. Looks like they're not able to hold their whole front. Declare a war. Technically, I could even call in the Mongols and have them coming through here, but I'll just do this myself. South Force, attack. Right down through the Kabul. Actually, you guys can take Kabul. You guys just take out this province. Oh, you guys stopped from doing that? I guess you are. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. This was the only unit that tried to attack this way, which means... We're perfectly fine. Downfall stability? Concerned. I'm very concerned by this news. Meanwhile, so long as we can all just get together, should be perfectly fine. I grant here that charge to cobble should be okay. I don't know what's stopping us from going through here. 24 divisions. I guess that there is some kind of blocking wall here. There's, there's gotta be, right? Hmm. I don't see one, but I guess it's impassable. Who knows? Yeah, I suppose it is. New divisions. Ah, oh, it's a tear bank. Uh, a tank division. Uh, an infantry with it, some tanks in it. Division. Using light tanks, including some uh, British light tanks. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> We've already taken there. Oh, we might as well cut off for old times. We're already going to Kabul. We already took that one province. So we already took the victory point in Herat, and we're about to take Kabul. That should be the war. Now see, if only if only the Soviets could have done that, everything would have gone perfectly fine. Speaking of which, I should go and... Uh, what? Diabacher? Hmm. Maybe... Yes, well, yes, go ahead. We'll take over these small provinces on the edge of our empire, then start working in some of the large areas. Integration, nice, gaining cores every day. So we've taken out that, we've taken out Harat. There should be nothing left in the tank for them to fight with. There's a little bit left. Hmm, all right. Yeah, we're starting to come in now. You go, cut them off. <clears throat> Yep, cut them off. Yes, cut off. Ooh, coming to France to declare war on the Austrian Empire. I see. So what you're saying is that there's basically no time where they are going to be weaker than right now. Because the Donjo Eriobund is... How many troops you got? Oh, that's not a lot. So the Donjo Eriobund is not going to be enough to really withstand that. Oh boy, uh, I think you've already been conquered? Yeah, Albanian Socialist Republic, I see. I see. Okay then. Interesting. Mm-hmm. No, what? No, wait. What? New units. My new army. 
on the eastern front. Uh, give him a guy. He looks cool. Do you have Embershire traits? You look cool. Just start getting them out there, guys. Just start getting them out there. Integration of Turkestan. After the war in Afghanistan, after a quick quill war in Kurdistan, we'll be able to bring about a hundred or so divisions to the front on just this side, which is not really saying a whole lot. Their individual forces don't have a bunch. We could start taking out their peripherals, their Bulgaria, their uh, Albania. And they're already kind of busy down in two Sicilies, and hey, even the Italians are holding out. Nice. So if Social Republic of Italy could fall, that'd be great. Uh, I'm sure they're still being, at the very least, molested by the King of France. Uh, so combined socialists should just keep going. Playing Social Republic has capitulated. That's, I guess, good for us. Let's go Imperial Glory. So at least put a 70-day timer on that. And then, hey. No, bad. Stop it. Hmm. I guess you're still attacking, so that's good. Did, did he just say by lot? Did he just say by lot? I don't know where exactly their capital is or where they're fighting from. They're 99% towards capitulation, so if we just take literally anything, I guess that'll be enough. Hmm. Let's just wait a second and see what happens when I move this one province over. <clears throat> I guess you guys have a split attention span. That's why you are having such a hard time. I could put last stand, at least on this guy, maybe. Uh -huh. Oh, no, he's reconnected. He's fine. You hold your position. Eh, Bohemia, uncertain times. Emirate of Afghanistan, take all states, and that shit, and get it out of there. Nice. I am perfectly happy with that. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.